you know, just about like the song thing, uh, you know, um, you know, artists could just start over again. Artists could, you know, um, something new that they can do is that they can um, make a song, release a track, and within that track, there could be two songs within, I mean, you know, including the normal sound, like you know, there could be two songs in one song. You download an app, the artist releases an app where you put the track in the app and you're able to slow down or speed up the beats per minute of the song. And when you speed up or slow down the beats per minute, the speed of the song, you get two different variations of the same song. So like, you know, you could get like um, two tracks in one or like three tracks because you hear it normal, then you slow it down, you hear another another variation, you speed it up, you hear another variation. So it could be like um, two different songs in one or, or just different variations of the song and um, of the same song. And by being very clever, the artist could rearrange the vocal, the vocal arrangements and the instrumentation and rearrange it to where it sounds, you know, they could be clever by um, by like um, squeezing in the instrumentation and rearranging it to where when you download the app, the artist releases an app to the fans, they get the track, they put the track in the app and there's two songs in that track, depending on how fast or how, how fast or how slow you, you, put the, you put the song through, how fast you make the song go up, you know, by piece per minute, you know, and slowing it down, you get two very, you could get two variations of the same song two different variations of the same song besides from the normal variation or if they're very clever and very creative and very uh, um, inventive and innovative the artist could rearrange the vocals and instrumentation to where they get two completely different songs in one song you know just by slowing down or speeding up the beats per minute you know uh, and maybe there could be something that's a part and there could, there could be a track where like the, the listener could like, you know, mess around with the song, kind of like a DJ and speed things up and slow things down and kind of like mix it up a little bit. You know, that's just another little additive. But the main thing is that you can get two different songs. An artist could produce a track and a listener could then listen to do different songs in one track because of the app that the artist releases that allows the listener the fan um to manipulate the song to listen to do two different songs in one that's something that's very innovative and very inventive and i think that that could be the way way with the future in terms of uh, the technicality use of 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 how they present the song and how you discover as a listener, you discover something. It's like discovering a new way of listening, a new way of manipulating a, a favorite track of yours, you know. And, uh, and 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 obviously, like I said, there is no new sounds. But what this represents is just a new technical way of listening to a song. You know, there's no new instruments. There's no new sounds. There's no new ways to present, present a song, you know, because everything's been done. But... This could be a new technical way that could revolutionize listening to music and um, reinvent listening to music, you know, and the technical aspect of it, more innovative, future-wise, and allow the user to be much more, uh, to dive deeper and enjoy music from the artist. Okay, that's it. Thank you. That's my idea.